Just read me. Read me, Daddy. Oh, I'm gonna read you like a book. Ooh. <laughs> the library is open, Joy. Are you ready for this? I am. <laughs> hey guys, we're here to play an embarrassing edition of Never Have I Ever, and I'm here with Joyce and Hannah Bronfman. Hey y'all. Hi. I'm really excited to like get the hot tea on you guys. I'm I want scared. everything. Do you have a big cup? Because there's a lot of tea to be poured. I'm so glad I know you. <laughs> <laughs> First question. Never have I ever dropped my cell phone on my face while I'm looking at it in bed. I was like, yeah, that's a yeah. I literally did that like five minutes ago before I came in here. I actually did that like two nights ago. I put myself to sleep. My husband came in at five in the morning and he was laughing at me because the lights were on, the phone was on my chest. <laughs> Never have I ever sent a delivery driver a kiss blowing emoji by mistake when they text to say they're there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You've done that? Oh, I look at the photo. So you did it on purpose. I mean, I see you like flirt. Have you ever hooked up with your Postmates guy? <laughs> what? Okay, what mates are we talking about? Like, Wait, a, like what? kiss. Like, what? anything. Oh, yeah. How many stars did you give? I mean, I gave them a solid three. I'm a good person. Are we talking about you the meal or the makeout now? Three stars after you made out with him? If you're gonna get five from me, you're gonna work for it. Never have I ever realized I'm out of toilet paper after I've already sat down on the toilet. What? That's like. That's Once a human a week. experience. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been there before. It's oh. how you it's a real test of who you are as a person. It separates mm -hmm the men from the boys mm. and the women from the girls. It's That's like, true. how do you improvise? You gotta yeah. MacGyver the situation. Oh man. How do you improvise when you don't have toilet paper and your husband isn't around? Depends. If I'm in a public restroom, mm -hmm. I'll like say, hey ladies, can you pass me over some toilet paper? Or if I'm like in a place where I'm alone, then I do a little shimmy shake, I wait a second, and I do a little crawl over, and I go find myself some toilet paper. Yeah, you gotta do no, that. I you do can that. also- or Go right into the shower. Yeah, that's ah, an option. Okay. All right, are you guys ready okay. for the next one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Went to throw something out and saw that there's no bag in the trash can. I mean, come on. That's my biggest pet peeve, but I've done it. Yeah, but it's what do not you about do in that situation? It's about what you do after that. Yeah, I think that's a test of your character. Do you go and get a trash bag? Yes. Sometimes I do that. I do. Or do you just throw it in there anyway and let it be someone else's problem? Also have done that. Well, I immediately go get a trash bag. I don't believe that, but I love that you <laughs> think we believe that. Why don't you guys just think better of me? I'm a great person. You're great too. <laughs> Never have I ever sent a screenshot of a text conversation to the person I had the conversation with by mistake. This is not moving this whole time. This is, this, this is like my, one of my hardest things. Are you guys the type of people who when you're writing something, but you're thinking about something else, you write the word that you're thinking of? Like, do you ever do that? I do. Okay, I do. so if you do that, then you obviously send the screenshot <laughs> to the wrong person because it's so hard to focus. Because yeah. you're, oh, you're, you're in your head, you're like, oh, I'm talking shit about this person and the you're just processing their name and that's the name yeah. you hit, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And right. the way you recover is you kind of like make it be like, did you see what you just said here? Yeah. Sort of like, oh, are you f***ing serious? When it's like, I'm also roasting you behind your back, but you don't need to know that part. Sketch. So never have I ever responded good and you after the other person <laughs> has already said good and you. Yo, I've done all these things. I have done that. I, I think yeah. everyone's like, the thing is with this though, is I will always, if I do something like this, I'll get clocked about like not paying attention. Like I'm a total space cadet. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I was paying attention. I'm just, I wasn't, but like whatever, you know? You know, no, I agree. Like sometimes if the conversation is dry, like I do it in, I do it intentionally because I'm like, okay, can you say something else? See, like right. my problem is that I'm like pretty dyslexic. So I'm like saying like, what's up in a backwards way and putting good and you in the same question. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's good, you? Like, and people are like, you know what? what? <laughs> Never have I ever waved to someone who wasn't waving at me. Oh my God, all the Guys, time. Guys, I've done all this, it seems like. I remember a time I was at Walmart and I thought this like tall like dude was my dad because my dad's like super tall and like black, right? So there's a super tall black guy and I was like, dad, 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 like yelling. Cause you know, like why the fuck isn't he paying attention to me? That's right. like my father, like what the hell? And I walk up to him, not my dad. And then my dad was like, who the are you talking to, Joyce? So I called my dad. So just live with it. Never have I ever said goodbye to someone and then walked 
in the same direction as them when I left. Is this for real? It's the worst date of my life. No. Oh. You know how you like avoid the kiss? Like you're like So this is the person, this is me, and like he was like this, and I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. So I'm like, okay, let me go, because my car's over there. I forgot that he parked over there too, so we were just like, <laughs> I was awkwardly like in front of him, like speed talking, then I got on the phone, and I like called my best friend, and I was like, yeah, you know, it's really hard. I don't think I want a date right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh and he was just like God. behind me, and I was just like, I felt so bad, but it was just like. You didn't feel that bad. Never have I ever called my boss or teacher, mom or dad by accident. I have not done that. I have, I also do it intentionally. What? I feel like. <laughs> Wait, I don't, that's, I don't. But that's what. But you have. By mistake. Okay. But like everyone's like mom, dad, like that's like a term of endearment now. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but like for your friends. Yeah. So you're gonna go to your boss and be like, well, this hey is buzzed. No, not boss, but like teacher. Yeah, like I said, Oh, I boss, boss called my or teacher. Oh my boss God, boss. Boss or teacher. If you said, like, if you called your boss, dad. Like, or I'm mom. sorry. That, I feel like it's an HR complaint. Yeah, but, like, my I boss, agree. The thing is, my boss, like, is my dad in some ways. Do you know what I, I mean? I'm not your boss. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you have, like, a super nurturing relationship and it's, like, not in a sexual way, like, okay. I love both of my bosses, and it's the type of relationship where we text memes back and forth, like that sort of thing. Oh, so you guys are friends. Yeah, we're friends. So it's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna call you mom and dad. Okay. See, I always call people mom and dad if they're like my friend's mom or if my friends get into relationships because I've learned that all couples treat single friends amazingly. Mm -hmm. mm, like they yeah. make you food. Yeah. 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 And when you sleep over, they give you a blanket for the couch. Yeah. Yes. And they both like watch over you when you're going to sleep. And yeah. if you need anything in the night, the couple friends will be right there for you. That yeah. is so true. I call them mom and dad. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a few singles in our life who call us mom and dad. Yeah. And we take care of them. Yeah. I think we did well. I think, you know, all of us would be friends. I think we have a lot in common. Yeah. I think we believe in the same things. And I don't know, I wasn't embarrassed. I mean, I wouldn't be embarrassed to like trip over something in front of you guys. I feel like you would laugh and we'd all laugh together and be fine. That's and then we the get thing. shots. They're all embarrassing things, but we don't feel embarrassed. Yeah. Right. So pretty much, you know, my homegirl got a book coming out. She's gonna let you know about it. It's called Do What Feels Good and you guys should all get it. It's on pre-order and it's out January 8th and it's basically everything you need to know to get your body feeling right so that you can get some love, some self-love, and be a better person. That's like perfect for January and the new year. Oh yeah, yeah. New, new year, new you, baby. Yeah. You know, hoeing season is coming. You better get ready for that. Ooh, <laughs> you better drink that celery juice then. Okay, I'm about to go to the store. <laughs> <laughs>